वन इज वी एज ए न्यूट्रल कार्डियोलॉजी पीपल वी ऑलवेज टेंड टू स्टार्ट विद अपाइकल व्यू एंड नॉट लाइक एज अडल्ट और पीडियाटिक कार्डियोलॉजिस्ट वी डोंट स्टार्ट विद द सब कॉस्टल व्यूज इट इज बिकॉज द बेबीज इफ दे आर नॉट ऑन वेंटिलेटर ऑन सी पैप और दे आर अवेक इन रूम एयर as soon as we start with the subcostal views they become irritable and they will start crying and hence the quality of your views what you will get will deteriorate so that's why we always start with the apical views the only thing is we have to complete the full sequence so that we can cover all the views so whether you start with one window or the other window that does not matter so we start with the apical views and then comes the parasternal views the parasternal views are divided in two low parasternal views and high parasternal views in low parasternal views we have two particular subsections that is parasternal long axis view and parasternal short axis view in high parasternal views that we also call as subclavicular views right subclavicular view and left subclavicular views in right subclavicular views or suprasternal views we have arch view left subclavicular view we have ductal view the view for the pda we have pulmonary artery view and we have pulmonary vein view and in the last we tend to do the subcostal views that is just below the zephy sternum in which we do atrial view that is a cross sectional subcostal view in which we see the atria and the interatrial septum and svc entering into ra and then we have the longitudinal subcostal views in which we see ivc and abdominal aorta so when we complete all these views in these particular windows it completes everything so basically apical view low parasternal views high parasternal views and subcostal views these are the four main windows from where we look for most of the views of the heart it is always a good practice to imagine a clock in front of the baby why because otherwise as i told you the probe orientation marker will remain fixed on the left side of the echo screen what moves is your what rotates or moves is your probe okay so it is very difficult to remember that uh, that the probe is on the right facing right shoulder right foot right, um, head or uh, um, left shoulder like that so we always terms in terms of clock okay towards the head side is 12 o'clock towards the foot is 6 o'clock towards the left side is 3 o'clock towards the right side it is 9 o'clock so it will be easy to uh, discuss and even to tell person that where the probe marker is facing if we imagine a clock in front of the baby so whenever we talk about the views we always divide those basic views in three segments one is 2d views 2d views as you can see is black and white okay so black and white or gray scale views so what you are seeing black is mostly the liquid blood and the solid structure is gray or white more solid more dense is more white less solid less dense is less white so that depends upon the ecogenicity of the structure but that is how our view will look like if we talk about 2d views next thing we divide we do is dopplers so dopplers are of three type one color doppler two pulse wave doppler three continuous wave dopplers so that is we use to see the color flow one and then we use it to measure the velocity of the blood flow through the various structures like flow across the mitral and tricuspid valves aortic valves pulmonary valves or the flow of the blood through the aorta or the pulmonary artery or any defect across interventricular septal defect or interatrial septal defect in the third base part of the basic views is the m mode that is the motion mode that it what it what happens in m mode is it cuts the structure of your heart at that given moment and tells you regarding the motion of that structure at various time frames and hence it is used to do the measurements of the various parts of the heart like aorta if i want to do the diameter of aorta i can do in this i want to do the uh, diameter of svc i want to do the diameter of ivc this those, this is the mode which is useful and very accurate and then we use it to calculate the contractility of the heart what we call as fs fraction shortening so we use it to 
कैलकुलेट द कंट्रेक्टिलिटी एनहेंस नो द फंक्शन ऑफ द हार्ट 